Hey everyone, and welcome back to Civilization 6. So, today a new update for the Leader Pass has released, and it includes Theodora, the alternative leader for Byzantium. And uh, the last time I played Byzantium, <laughs> back when it was originally released, it was probably one of the most fun games I ever played in Civ 6. You should check that out if you've never seen it, by the way. So, I figured I'll give Theodora a shot. And her unique ability actually sounds pretty interesting, especially if you can get a desert or a tundra start. Holy sites provide culture equal to their adjacency bonus. Imagine this with tundra and work ethic. That would actually be amazing. I will try to get tundra. I set the map to cold. So we are playing on Pangea, and I set temperature to cold. I also made sure Valletta will be in this game, because I haven't seen Valletta in my games in like half a year at least. It's actually getting a little bit annoying. So this time, Valletta will definitely be in this game, and the other city-states will be random. I also added the other two new leaders from the update, Ludwig II and Sejong. We are playing on Deity, obviously, and I disabled all the game modes for this one. So, let's get started. Okay, so the goal is to get the good holy sites. Yep, this looks promising. We got Tundra, that's what I wanted. I don't know how much of it we got. We got some thirds nearby, that's nice for yields. I assume this is, yep, this is the end of the map right here. It looks promising. Now we just need to get the religion, and we need to get the right pantheon, obviously. I will probably settle on spot. I could settle on a hill, but that would involve using up some of my turns, and I don't want to do that. I want to get my pantheon as quickly as possible, to maximize the chances of getting the pantheon I need for this. So we'll settle on spot. Now I could move, but I don't think I want to. We'll settle next to the lake, so that way we will get fresh water. If I move east, then I will not have fresh water. That would be bad. Here. Plus one era score. And there it is, Constantinople. Now, I don't want to rush religion as soon as possible. I don't know if I will find a natural wonder, but let's start researching astrology, and then I can maybe switch. Or finish it. We'll see. Obviously, finding a natural wonder is kind of random. There's no way I can actually guarantee it happening. But we shall see. I will grab a scout. Okay, we got some crabs over here. And more thirds, that's good. Some more forest. Okay, it's not some massive amounts of tundra, but we'll check to the east. Hopefully there's more over there. I need as many good holy sites as possible. Hopefully we can make this work. If I can't get the right pantheon, then yeah, this entire plan is not going to work out. I can tell you as much. This is a really nice area to the south as well. Quite a lot of wheat, two rivers, some stone. I like this. Okay, more forest. Our scout is almost done. Crippling blizzard. We only just started. I don't need a blizzard to cripple me or anything like that. Thanks. Now, I could grab a second scout, but I think this time we'll grab the builder. There is more tundra to the east. Yeah, it already hurt my scout, which is a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Here's a goodie hat. Yeah, this is a good amount of tundra. I do hope we can get the Pantheon. We'll see about that. Okay, Barbarians. And Japan. He might attack me. No, he didn't. I will grab that. We got Irrigation Boost. Okay, another Goody Hut. It would be nice to get Faith from the Goody Hut. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I might just finish astrology normally and get the holy site as soon as possible. I need that holy site. And I need to get the pantheon again ASAP. There's no way 
I can guarantee finding a natural wonder. I don't even know if there is a natural wonder anywhere in this general area. And so much for my scout. Geneva, all right. So we'll just finish astrology and we'll start the holy side as soon as possible. After the builder. It is not wisdom. All right, code of laws. Now we can grab discipline and the god king, obviously. And uh, for the civics, we can get started on craftsmanship. I really hope this is going to work. Okay, I don't think I want to go through here all that much. And let's just back up and check out this area to the west, to the southwest of our capital. I like how he already denounced me. At least he's honest that he just plain dislikes me. All right, well, there's astrology and we're about to finish the builder. I will obviously let that builder finish. I could grab animal husbandry to check if there are horses nearby, but I think I want mining first to be able to get some mines and speed up some production. So let's get mining. Okay, so first I will grab the wheat because that will give me irrigation boost. And for our holy site, now, I don't have the Pantheon yet, but hopefully we will be able to get the Tundra one. So that means we will want our holy site to have as much Tundra near it as possible, which means I could just build it right here on this hill. I got 155 gold, so I can afford to buy more than one tile. I could buy this one, but I kind of like this spot. We will immediately get a small bonus from the woods. Now, that's obviously not the point here, the woods. The point is the tundra, but it will have tundra all around it. I think this is good enough. So, right here. Now, we just need to finish it ASAP. And get that pantheon. Maybe we can find another goodie hut. All right, we got... Actually, we already did get the irrigation boost, but that's okay. We'll have a nice growth tile over here. That's always good to have. Now, I can't get the crabs just yet. And I can't get the sheep just yet. And I can't get the deer either. I might just finish mining and then maybe chop a forest. You know, to actually speed up the holy site. I think I'll do exactly that. Okay, here's Teddy. Good to know. Will he also denounce me? <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me too much. Yeah, so let's set up over here. I'm just going to buy that tile right away. It's a nice tile too. And we'll chop it as soon as we finish mining to speed up the holy site. I need that holy site done. And then we need a shrine. I'll just chill on this tile. He sent a delegation, okay. This would be a nice spot for a campus, potentially, if I harvest the stone. Let's just mark it right away, why not? That is a nice spot. Yep, they just plain don't like you. Hey, at least they're honest, alright? At least they're honest. But it's still a little bit irritating. <laughs> like, I didn't actually do anything. I just exist. <laughs> I exist and they don't like me because I exist. Than the wife. Yep. Uh, okay, I don't like that Barbarian Scout too much, but I kind of need to be here at the moment. There. So we got the Holy Site, now we need a Shrine. I could chop one more forest, but this one is not on a hill. This one is on a hill, but that one has firs. This one is also not on a hill. I could still do it to speed up that Shrine. It will be worth it in the long run, if we can execute our plan. Let's get Animal Husbandry. Uh, this guy might send his friends. Yep, he already spotted my capital, which is not exactly surprising. Right, I don't have Animal Husbandry yet, but we will get it. Let's get that, and then we'll get the first. It's already a very nice style. 
it will get even better. In fact, I'm going to buy it because it has very nice yields. I'm pretty sure he will bring his friends unless the city-state helps me kill him, which it might. It actually might. We'll see about that. My warrior only has 42 health. I can't really afford to attack aggressively right now. It would end poorly for me. Okay, give me the Pantheon. We need 25 ASAP. Yeah, I'll stay away. Oh, great. Barbarian warrior. That's actually really unlucky. To be fair, there was a barbarian camp over here. But that's actually pretty unlucky. <laughs> well then, a goodbye builder. I'll have to go and get him back. That is pretty unlucky. And now the scout will probably spawn a raiding party. That's going to happen. That is going to happen. Well, we'll just finish craftsmanship normally, <laughs> because I can't get my builder back quickly. If there are no dogs in I could recruit another one. Not sure why he's not moving. <laughs> he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Nine turns for the builder. I mean, I could grab one. Right now I'm leaning towards the slinger to get the archery boost. And we'll just finish researching craftsmanship normally. Yeah, I mean, it already happened. It's fine. Pottery? Come on, give me the Pantheon. Yeah, they will spawn a bunch of units. That's kind of unavoidable at this point. Maybe I can get him back. I don't know why he's not moving back. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, they will spawn a bunch of units. At least this is a nice choke point. It shouldn't be very hard to defend it. Without craftsmanship. Okay, there's craftsmanship. The worst thing that could happen right now would be AI declaring war on me. I had the AI declare war on me very early in my previous game. It was not great. Hopefully I can avoid it here, but I don't know if I can. Yeah, I could attack him right now, or I could wait to heal back to full. Let's wait to heal back to full. So one more turn. We can get started on state workforce. We are almost at 25 fate. This is quite a few barbarians. I'm glad that this lake exists. <laughs> yeah, this lake is definitely making my life easier at the moment. Getting Dark Age right now is probably a good thing, because we can try to get Heroic Age after that. Okay, we can get our builder back. I don't know why he didn't move. I'm not complaining, it's just a little bit strange. Just don't kill me right now. Alright, so let's back up. And we can probably get a kill for our slinger. Here, I'll grab Battle Cry. And we can get the Dance of the Aurora. That is amazing. That is exactly what I needed. Dance of the Aurora. Just imagine how amazing this is going to be. Just imagine. How amazing this is going to be with work ethic and Theodora's unique ability. It's actually going to be amazing. I'm excited just thinking about it right now. <laughs> we'll get so much production and culture. We'll be swimming in the production and culture. And I mean, we already get culture equal to our adjacency bonus for our holy site. Because we always get that. This is turn 41. And we got plus 6 culture on turn 41 from our holy site. And then we will get work ethic and scripture later on. So this holy site right now, without any other bonuses from other districts, will be a plus 12 faith, plus 12 culture, and plus 12 production. That's just amazing. All right, let's finish that shrine. I'll try to not get too excited about this just yet. Now we need to secure more cities with Tundra. It's not some tremendous amount of Tundra, and it's a lot of flat Tundra, but it's still going to be good enough. We definitely want a city right here, on the edge of this Tundra right here. So probably a coastal city. Either here and then build an aqueduct, or directly on the river. I'm thinking probably like here. 
either this style or this style. Unfortunately, the DAM is only going to be viable like over here. This should be fine for a DAM. I need to double check. But it should be fine for a DAM. It could be here, the city. Well, this dam could actually belong to my capital. I'll have to plan all of this stuff. But this right here would be a dam. I don't have to make 100% sure this style is actually valid for a dam. It should be. Maritza River. Okay, no, it should be fine. So let's mark this. This will be a dam. I'm just going to plan this right away. So obviously dam. Then, it's a shame I can't have an aqueduct like right here. That's the only downside of my capital's location. But it's still fine. It's still fine. So it's probably going to be something like this. So if I want to, I can do something like this. This could be an aqueduct. So right here, this could be an aqueduct. Then I could have a city either here or here. Let's say the city would be here. And then this could be the holy site. So this would be the city. This would be the holy site for this city. In the Tantra and all that. And then we could have another city over here-ish. The only problem is Geneva. But we could have a city right here exactly. On this exact tile right here and then it could have its own industrial zone again next to the dam right here and then we could also have an aqueduct it would have to be on the northwest side because this right here is a mountain but that still works so something like this i think this is pretty nice not a 100% optimal setup, but it's pretty good. And then this city would also get the campus to the west. I will have to harvest the stone, but I would probably harvest the stone to speed up this industrial zone. So overall, I kind of like this setup. Again, the only downside is that I can't get the aqueduct for Constantinople, but I can live with that. And this city will not get like a super amazing holy site. However, I could use this spot for a holy site instead of a campus. We also have a decent one down here. Yeah, they are both plus four. So this will be a holy site and this will be a campus or vice versa. Doesn't really matter which one is which. They will both be plus four. So this is a pretty damn nice setup already. I really like this. Now, if only I can get Heroic Age for our next age after this next one, that would be even better. Then we could get Monumentality. That's the plan. Try to get Monumentality for that. Anyway, I have to kill all of these barbarians. <laughs> uh, oh, shut up. Hopefully Japan is not going to ruin all this. There's Geneva between him and me. Hopefully that will stop his progress a little bit. I wouldn't want him to settle some city in this area and ruin my entire plan. I can't let that happen. Okay, well, I could get archery boost right here, right away, I think. We should probably do that. There, got the archery boost, very nice. Let's heal up. And obviously finish our shrine. Now I need to actually get the religion. I don't think it will be very hard to do. But I don't need to get the religion. Do we have any competition already other than these guys? Yep, animate player. Japan is getting some. I will probably finish the shrine and then run holy side prayers. Let's get some archers to defend ourselves. Looks like it might be necessary. I kind of want to improve the thirds, but it's not exactly safe to go there at the moment. As you can clearly see yourself. There, got the slinger. That's bronze working Eureka. Let's go in this direction a little bit. Like so. Yeah, this is quite a few barbarians. But I'm liking this start. 
This is a very promising start. I like this a lot. Alright, back into the city. And kill these guys. Won't be a problem. Alright, we'll get the first. Give me my shrine. He tried to kill my warrior. Nice try, buddy. I think they will pillage my farm. So I'll save this build to repair the farm. Because it does look like they will pillage it. And that is my last build on this particular builder. Alright, well, now we need holy side prayers. I'm not going to risk losing a religion and uh, letting this entire plan go to waste. <laughs> this is just too amazing. I'm not going to let that happen. A strong economy. Now, I am playing with mostly random AIs in this game, other than the two I added manually. So Arabia could be in this game, I don't know. It's random. They might be here, they might not be here. It is a little bit concerning that one AI already has a religion. But okay. Right, so we could get Magnus. I could still chop something if I want to. And obviously I will be harvesting the stone over here. As planned. I think Magnus is fine. And probably Rush Provision. That's a good plan here. Just get Magnus and Rush Provision. No need to do anything overly fancy. Yeah, these barbarians are a tiny little bit annoying, but whatever. And next up, foreign trade. Now, I do not want normal age. I actually do want dark age to try getting heroic age after. So I do not want more era score right now. I want the dark age. I do have the promotion, but let's maybe kill this warrior first. Like so. Yeah, I don't like that scout either. Kinda want to kill him before he calls more friends. I think he will call more friends. It looks like he's going back to this camp. So maybe I can cut him off and kill him. That would be good. That would be good. Now, before we improve the first, let's go improve or rather fix the wheat. Now, I know I'm wasting a little bit of experience here, but I want to kill that warrior a tiny little bit faster. I don't care that much about experience at this stage of the game. So there's classical era. Now we'll get our dark age. There it is. We'll grab a free inquiry. Now I can pick up the promotion and get my archer. So volley, uh, give our builder an escort and we can get bronze working to reveal Aaron. I kind of want to know what it is. Yep, he is already here. So that's not great. Let's actually back up, because if that unit charges me, that could end poorly. Just go back into our territory and heal up. So repair this. Now, this might get pillaged again if they send more barbarians, but I'm about to get an archer. It should be fine. I don't need God King anymore, obviously. Now, these dark policies can actually be quite useful. So Twilight Valor, for example, would give me plus 5 combat strength for all melee attack units, but they cannot heal outside of my territory. But this would give me a pretty nice uh, power boss right now to deal with these barbarians using my warrior. That might be worth picking up just briefly. Now, we are about to finish Holy Side Prayers. I don't think I'll be working on the Builder right away, or on a Settler right away. I would like to get a monument, so we could afford to run Twilight Valor for a few turns. We could afford to do that. I will keep Discipline, because I need this bonus right now. Technically, I could also pick up plus 3 science at the cost of 2 culture, but I don't think that's really worth wasting a policy slot for. Besides, I can't actually do it right now, because I need a wildcard slot. Yeah, I can't get Twilight Valor either, <laughs> because that requires a wildcard slot, and we do not currently have that. That will probably have to be Ilkum after all. I don't think it's worth wasting a policy slot for urban planning. Not really, no. Let's just roll with Ilkum. 
and I might change my plans and get that builder after all. So for our next policy, we can grab mysticism really quick, but we can also grab a military tradition or just keep working uh, towards our government. I don't think I want to wait to get six population right now. We'll be a little bit busy. Okay, first attack this guy. Wait, what did... Oh, we already got a prophet! Right, B I guess that was quick. <laughs> okay, that was faster than I thought it would be, but fair enough. Fair enough. That was really fast. Well, there you go. There you friggin' go. This is actually going to be amazing. Now I need a fun name for this religion. So, you know what? Uh, let me know your best idea for what this religion should be called. Remember, the idea here is to get as many Tantra holy sites as possible and maximize our work ethic bonus to get that juicy production and culture. So uh, let me know your best ideas for the religion name in the comments and uh, I will use one of them. Meanwhile, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're just as excited for this setup as I am. Leave a like if you are and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.